Smart Weeds now sells smart shades that support matter and thread. In fact, I believe these are the first matter enabled smart shades on the market. That means they will work with any smart home ecosystem. I was a little skeptical about these at first, if I'm being honest. I set up three of them and have been using them for a while. So we'll see if they're any good. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. So a couple of years ago, Smart Wings reached out to me, but I really wasn't too interested. At the time, they only offered Bluetooth connected smart shades that worked with HomeKit anyways. Now, even though they did support HomeKit, I just felt like Bluetooth wasn't really the best option for something like this. So, you know, I respectfully declined and uh, I've never used them. Well, fast forward to present day and SmartWings now offer smart shades that connect via thread, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, and Z-Wave. You can basically choose what type of smart motor you would like. Now, if that's already starting to sound a little complicated, don't worry, all of these options will eventually be replaced with a single option, Matter. And that's what we have here today. SmartWings has said that, quote, in the near future, all SmartWings products will be launched in the Matter version, ensuring compatibility with all smart devices in your home for a seamless integration of your shades. I was excited to try these out as these are the first matter shades that I've had the opportunity to use. And again, I think these are the first available on the market as well that support matter. Now, if you're not really sure what matter even means, essentially that's just the newest smart home protocol or smart home standard that has compatibility with all of the major ecosystems, including Apple Home, Google Home, Amazon, smart things, and more. Now, I actually didn't have anywhere to put these in my house so I went to a friend's house in my neighborhood he's been needing some new shades for his daughter's room and I thought this would be the perfect solution for him as he's recently begun building an Apple home smart home himself and thanks to matter we know that these will work with his current setup and will even work if he changes his mind you know down the road and wants to use some different ecosystem uh, matter should be future proof. Now, full disclosure, Smart Wings was kind enough to send me out a few of these new matter shades at no cost so that I could test them out and share my feedback with them and with you here on the channel. There are no strings attached, and you're going to get my honest thoughts and opinions as always. Do note that at the time of this recording, Smart Wings is finalizing the matter certification. So the matter version is not available on their website just yet as this video goes live, but I have been told that they should be available within the next couple of weeks on their website. I will put a link to their site in the description below and the pinned comments so you can check it for yourself anytime. And once the matter shades are available over there, I'll be sure to update that link. I've also been told that at first launch, the matter motor option will be available only for the roller shades. And after that, the rest of the shades will have the matter motor option available as well. So let's go ahead and look through the website real quick just to see the different options and the ordering process. Even though we don't have the matter version available just yet on the website, this will just give you an idea. Final price will vary, of course, based on size, fabric, and the options that you choose as these are fully customizable smart shades. Smart Wings offers numerous shade types. You have roller shades, cellular shades, zebra shades, wo woven wooden shades, and even out door shades. Many come in different options like light filtering or blackout. Now, because of this, it might be a good idea to order a fabric sample to make sure you get something that you like in the end. Once you know what you want, you can just choose the shade type. I'll search under roller shades. I'm gonna go with 100% blackout. Blackout is great for blocking out, you know, 100% of the light from entering the room and also great for teenagers. Um, but no worries, dad will always be able to open those shades if he wants to with a simple press of the button or a Siri command if he needs to. We'll choose the color. I'll go with white. You can choose either inside or outside mount. Then you put in your dimensions. Now these are the dimensions of the windows that I'm installing mine in. Now seriously, do take time to read through the measuring instructions and make sure you know you take good measurements. Uh, you can see right here, there's some good instructions on here. The last thing you wanna do is get your measurements wrong and then receive 
you know, shades that don't fit or whatever, that would not be good. Plus they do pre-program the length of the shades to be the exact length um, of your window, which is really awesome. So next we choose the motor type. You can see we have standard, which is free. You have Alexa version, Zigbee, Z-Wave, and even HomeKit over thread. You see the price will vary slightly depending on the option. You can then choose a valance type if you want one. They have two options, each for an additional $20. I went with the square option. I think this one looks you know, super clean, especially for these inside mount windows. You can choose if you want a standard bottom bar or fabric wrapped. As you can see, lots and lots of options for customization, which is really nice. You can add a solar panel if you want for an additional $50 uh, as it stands right now. It does say here that if you get a solar panel, they recommend you choose to put the motor on the right side so that the USB cable can be hidden better. So I actually missed, missed that instruction. I missed that little bit when I was doing my order initially. So I ordered my shades with the motor on the left you know, live and learn. I'll make the mistake so you don't have to. You can also order a five channel remote, a 15 channel remote or a five channel dial. I did get the five channel remote that can control up to five separate shades uh, with this single remote. You choose the roll type, motor side. Again, if you get the solar panels, I'd go with the motor on the right side as they recommend. You even have the option to add light blockers, which is awesome. So these are like those little channels that you can put or install on the sides that really help keep out the light, you know, from seeping in through the sides. And that's it for the ordering process. As you can see, the fabric type and options you choose will certainly determine the final price. So I was able to get mine here for under $400, which is not too bad. Now when you get your shades, they should come well packaged. You can see I have three separate shades. Each one does clearly state what's in the box, including the size, fabric, and motor type. It's on the box as well as on the top rail of the uh, blinds themselves. Inside you get your matter starting guide, a remote if you ordered one, a USB-C to USB-A charging cable, installation hardware, a solar panel if you ordered one, and the actual shades. And that is everything that's in the box. Now, I've installed a number of blinds and smart shades and I must say that these here are some of the easiest that I have ever installed. So his daughter has three side-by-side -side windows and I knew that these white shades would really look great here in this room. Again, these are inside mount, so I started attaching the brackets on the top of the window. The one thing that I did notice is that the screws seem to be a little bit small, especially for mounting you know, from the bottom up like this. It's probably fine, but I went ahead and replaced a few of the screws with some larger wood screws that I was able to get and fit in there for just a little extra security. But once the brackets are in place, you can just snap the shades onto the brackets. Really, really easy installation. What I did was plug in each shade via the USB cable so that they could charge a little bit first. I set up each one in the home app before attaching the solar panels. And there's a reason for that. So this could certainly change as the product gets out of beta, you know, and starts shipping to consumers. But for me, I could only find one instance of the matter QR code for each shade and that is at the top of the shade. Not a very good place for the QR code, so that's why I didn't want to go ahead and mount the solar panels and all that stuff and get everything in place before actually pairing them in the Apple Home app, so I wanted to do that first. Another thing I noticed is that the QR code did not have the numerical code included on that, which is something you usually see. So this made me a little nervous because if you couldn't scan that QR code for some reason, you're just out of luck. So you won't be able to pair any of your shades in any smart home ecosystem if you can't scan that code uh, with no numbers or anything. Again, a little strange. Usually you also see a little numerical number with your Matter QR code on there. So I do highly recommend taking a photo of your code and storing it somewhere for backup just in case this ever gets messed up and you can't scan it. Anyways, to pair it, you need to hold down the button for a few seconds until the status LED flashes red, and you'll see the shades move a little bit a couple times, then scan your code. So I actually did have a hard time scanning the code in the home app because it just didn't, it wasn't printed very well on the sticker. And again, this here did make me a little nervous because there was no numerical code on it. 
but I was actually able to scan it using the native camera app and tapping open in the home app. So if you didn't know about this, you can actually use the regular camera on any phone to scan a Matter QR code and you'll be prompted to add the device in the native smart home platform for that phone in this case, an iPhone, therefore the Apple Home app. Little pro tip there for you in case you didn't know. Anyways, then you can move through the prompts to add it to your smart home, just like any Apple Home product. I do get the message saying that this is an uncertified device. Again, this is because I've been using these for a while before they gained official Matter certification. And I'm happy to report that all three of these shades did pair right up to the Apple Home app on the first attempt for each one zero issues there which is great i put them all back up and tested them real quick in the home app then it was time to install the solar panels i attached the solar panels using the included 3m sticky tape you can see here it would have been better if i got shades with the motor on the right side uh, as it was suggested it would have been easier to hide that little usb cable like they recommended but I did hide it the best I could and I think it came out okay. The back side of the solar panel is kind of ugly, um, a big dark spot right there in the middle of the window. So I mounted it up as high as I could on the window but you could still see it. So I just adjusted the max open position for the shades so that when I fully open them, that solar panel is hidden. So I can open them to 100% and uh, it'll be hidden because I adjusted that max open position right there. So the solar panels actually seem to be working quite well after at least a month of usage, the battery on each shade is reading from 97 to 100%. We were actually a little worried about that since these windows really don't see much direct sunlight at all throughout the day, but it does seem to be getting enough to keep them charged which is awesome. Now, if you aren't using solar panels, smart wings say the battery generally should last about 600 up and down cycles. So I guess that just depends on how often you're using the shades. Also the model and size and weight of your shades will play a role in the battery life which is to be expected. The motor and the battery both have integrated overcharge protection circuits. So that means you can't overcharge them and won't have any issues with that. That also means that you can leave a charger plugged in if you want to for a hardwired solution with constant power and battery backup. The remote comes already paired with the shade that it's boxed with. So you can switch channels to control the shade separately with the remote or you can control them all together. It comes with a little mount and some screws if you you want to mount the remote somewhere which is nice now it says this family wanted to always control the shades together as a group here with these windows i easily combined all three of them into a single group in the apple home app now they can control all three as one device as with any apple home supported device we can also use siri to control the shades either on their home pods or on any of their other apple devices hey, open the shades to 50 percent Close Avery's shades. We can of course use the Apple Home app also, since these connect over thread, response times are pretty good. And one of my favorite things about having smart shades is the ability to include them in smart home automations. For example, we can have these open with the sunrise, close with the sunset, or you can have them close when everybody leaves the house, stuff like that. All that can be configured right there in the Apple Home app. All right, so regarding the sound levels, I'm gonna do a quick noise test for you here and nothing super technical. I'll just just be using a little sound meter uh, app on my phone, but it should give you a good idea. Now there's actually three different speed settings you can change these to. There's standard, there's a slower speed, and a faster speed. Each speed will change how loud the motor actually is. And since there's no manufacturer's app with these, there is a way to adjust the speed here. If you remove the cover, on the remote, there's a little button on the back right here. If you press that, you'll be able to put the shades in the speed adjustment setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that now. Um, move it up. So that's gonna be the middle setting up again. When they jog three times like that, that's the fast setting. If I go down, so you can see these are actually faster now.
Not bad, that's pretty good at the fastest setting. All right, so this I think is the medium setting. All right, and this here is the slow setting. They're not too loud, um, even at the fastest speed is not super loud. Of course, you can slow them down. They all seem to be a little bit quieter than what I was getting from the Eve shades, but very comparable. They're very similar. So what are the pros and cons? Like I said, I was initially a little skeptical about these shades, not really sure why. Maybe it's just because it's been a while since I really looked into smart wings, but I have to say that uh, these have really exceeded my expectations. There are lots of pros. First and most obvious, they support matter over thread. So matter support means they are future proof and work with any smart home ecosystem. That's a huge plus. They connect to your smart home via thread, which I would also consider a plus. Thread is a low latency, low power mesh protocol. And I just, I think that's a good option, a good protocol for something like these. Uh, to connect to your smart home. You do need a thread border router, but there are so many options these days, including HomePods, HomePod minis, compatible Apple TV, Eero routers, Google Nest hubs, Amazon Echoes, you know, just to name a few. So you probably already have a thread border router in your home. SmartWings literally has every option that I would want when getting shades, including an optional remote, solar panel, valance options, even light blockers, all that right there on their website. I have some of these light blockers installed in my daughter's room with her Eve motion blinds, and they're just great to have when using those blackout shades. I love all the fabric and style options that they have. They come ready to go, already programmed for the link that you specify when you order them, which is nice. Installation, again, is one of the easiest that I've seen or that I've done personally for smart shades. Setup in the Apple Home app was also really easy and worked right away. Even though I did have an early version of them, it still worked and they worked well in the Apple Home app. Um, and through automations and everything like that ever since installation. The remote and solar panel options are fantastic. With those solar panels, we never have to worry about charging them. There really isn't much I can find to say that isn't good, to be honest. One thing I guess to note is that little bit about the Matter QR code, having the only instance on the top of the shade and not having the numerical code included is not good. That's something that they can easily fix, you know, and there's a good chance maybe they've already fixed that you know, once these start shipping to consumers again, I got these early before they were even shipping them. So, you know, either way, I highly recommend saving a copy of that Matter QR code for future use in case you ever need it. A price I found to be very reasonable. I'd consider these like a mid-tier kind of smart shade. You can get something quite a bit more expensive like Lutron Serena shades, and then you can even get something cheaper like, you know, Ikea shades or something like that. All will work with HomeKit. Uh, but you typically, you know, you get what you pay for. For the cheaper options, you're not really going to get the available, you know, options and the level of customization that you'll get with something like these or even the Eve motion blinds. I already compared these a little bit to those Eve motion blinds, and that's because I think these are very comparable to those, both in price and quality, as well as functionality. The Eve motion blinds also connect via thread, and while they don't support Matter at the time of this recording, they should be getting an over-the-air firmware update to support Matter in the very near future. I do like that the Eve blinds have the little pull cord on them. Smart wings don't have that but you do get the remote and other numerous ways to control them. So, you know, that's probably not a huge deal. I'd say that these shades are a great option at a very good, reasonable, competitive price for your Apple smart home or for any smart home for that matter. Let me know what you think down below. Here's a recent video on my take and experience using Matter over the past few months. There's been a lot changing in the smart home space lately and uh, this video here kind of shows where we're at, where we're headed, and just my whole thoughts on all this and my experience using Matter. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for new smart home videos and live streams every week right here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.